something's fishy. Hey guys, I'm Shark back doing a how to play Tristana ADC in season 11, where we'll be going over how to play the early mid and late game, how to team fight, when to side lane and solo carry every single one of your games. So, like usual, if you enjoy, find it helpful, make sure to smash the like comment subscribe those are the runes you take we are going the highest win rate builds and runes for master tier plus and just in general the lower the rank you are the higher the tier tristana is with low elo being s tier mid elo being top of a and then high elo being b the reason why is because if you could scale towards your gale force or two items in general because gale force storm razor then you're able to get your power spike near mid game ish and then deal tons of damage with your w e q combo and well you know the higher the rank you are the more they'll try to focus you make sure you can't reach your power spikes and then shut you down early so you can hit those power spikes oh man you place the e in the brush feels bad so much poke and i have a blitzcrank who's not even engaging oh please tell me the game won't be like this okay now he's level two i think i think he'll go for something stand stand forward i'll take q because i think you're gonna go for a hook you need to engage man blitz literally we need to force something. There. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Blitz. Exactly. We engage or else they poke us out. That's basically how this lane will go. We have to force things. But yeah, Tristana is good with healers, shielders, engagers, all of the above. Ah, probably no kill. Yeah, even if I flash auto, not enough. Nope, Malkai's coming. Or Mal Zahar. I'm going to have to dip out of this situation. And I think the wave is, yeah, it's going to crash. So it's going to reset back to us. So we're good. Start building towards Gale Force, an item that has been creeping up in the meta. A lot of champions take it. A lot of champions make use of it. It basically acts as the 80 version of uh, Protobel because it gives you that gap closer, that good extra damage. You can use it for mobility, aggression, all of the above. And having that on an ADC is insane. And all Gale Force user users have crazy win rates, like Jin being at the top. Okay. Okay. Right. Hook. Oh, honestly, I'd rather have a shielder. Oh, yeah, I'd rather have a shielder. I'd rather have a shielder support. I can tell this Blitz. He's not going to do much this game, huh? But you know what? It's fine. We could probably carry past that as long as... We look towards... Mid game. I thought there were going to be plants there. Um, okay. Okay, Blitz. Literally is not forcing anything. Stand up. Literally stand up, man. You can even hook the Maokai. He's not a tank. That, that is perfect angle. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Now Misfortune's dead. We can focus Maokai. Literally, you engage, we win. Oh my, perfect, perfect. Now you're stepping up, engaging things. So you want to play with engage champions. As soon as they make the engage, you double W forward and then you drop the E. Gets even stronger as soon as you build Gale Force. And then Storm. by the time you build Storm Razor, it's a GG's. Because you'll have enough damage just to shit on them, so... We're going to get Newell, Quiver, Boots, Dagger, and a Vision Ward. Reason why is because we're going to get Tier 2 Boots early game for 
some attack speed. Attack speed, you can never go wrong with ADCs. And we have pretty good momentum. Division Ward, I feel like won't even be used to get vision over dragon or anything like that, but have vision control over the bushes. Maokai might try to E. So as soon as Blitzcrank shows here, yeah, we'll drop the E in the bush. Feels bad. Yep. We'll drop the vision ward there. <clears throat> Dark Harvest Misfortune. Interesting. Wait, I thought it would damage the minion. What? I'm cheesed. Now, oh, this is AIDS. Literally, yeah, Blitz, just hook. You can even hook Maokai. He's not a tank. He's AP. Then we should be fine. We have a CS lead. Pretty good. Uh, Malzahar is level 6, so we have to back down from that. Yeah, we have to escape out of that situation. Malzahar roamed! So definitely this game, I most definitely need that QSS. Because I have a feeling, yeah, like always, they just flash RU and then you're going to be useless. So I'll need QSS after I build... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, oh, perfect, perfect. It builds to Gale Force too. After I build Gale Force. But Akali should be able to stomp the Malzahar. I mean, it's a pretty immobile lane. Yeah, it's a pretty immobile lane. Pretty easy lane to stomp. Unless she gets crazy jungle assistance, but I doubt that'll happen. Generally speaking, as for scaling, I think it's possible they might outscale us. Depending how the mid game goes. You in. Dead. So you want to play with a Blitzcrank. Ooh, they're taking Rift. Ooh. Olaf's trying to contest. I don't think he can. Yeah. And finally, this Blitzcrank is putting in work. I like to see. There we go. Now we're starting the lead up. And then now, after we take bot tower, we could rotate mid to try to take mid. Honestly, you could probably hook the misfortune. You could probably hook the misfortune under tower. I don't know. You have Q. Enough mana for Q. Ah, okay. Back, back, back. There we go. We get a tower plating. Why am I thinking I'm mid lane with the ward? Are they possibly gonna roam? I don't think so. We have enough for Gale Force. Huge power spike. Because now we basically have Proto Belt. Adds extra damage, mobility, and so forth. And then we can get QSS. Or Storm Razor. Ah, probably QSS would be more important. I don't know if Malzar is useless, Akali stomps. We could think about just going Storm Razor and then hoping for the best, right? They're hovering river. Interesting. Gale Force adds an extra 200 damage to our combo. So, yeah. They are not starting drag, are they? Well, they are. These guys are crazy. Playing front to back. Ah. Oh. Oh, I should have Gale Force there. But basically, I was playing front to back. Autoing whoever's closest and then rotating to whoever's most important. That drag fight, of course, kind of a throw. Because we caught them last second. It wasn't warded, I don't think, but... We just showed. And then we could take a tower plating before we look to back here. Malzahar is semi-fed. 
Let's take two tower platings, which is equal to a kill, and we have, yeah, 700 gold bounty. Pretty huge. Pretty huge. Let's get the Berserker's Graves. Build that BF sword. Another vision. And we have basically full control of bot. After we take bot tower or mid, we rotate. Or, yeah. After we take tower. And we rotate to which lane didn't take tower. Rift is placed top. Playing for a Yasuo top. That is interesting. Definitely a champ that can stomp us. Or stop us from popping off because of his wind wall. Literally just his wind wall. Okay. Okay. I have to walk around. Wait, there's no way. I don't want to tank an E. Nice. You guys got that? Yep. Blitz punt finally putting in that work. Definitely Yasuo will probably win top. I don't know. He could throw it, but with how things are going right now, I doubt he will. So I hope we can take first tower here. There's Blitz. Olaf's here, kind of taxing the CS. You know what? It is what it is. Look to take tower, then kill the Maokai? Yeah, that was kind of the goal. The goal from the start. Now we can run him down. Gale Force in. Oh, we needed a slow. Feels bad. If we got the slow off, then... Okay. Shavon is definitely ulting in. Don't want to get hit in that E zone. Now we can play the kite back. <laughs> ah, feels good. Feels good. <laughs> Crazy. We actually played that perfectly from when we dropped the E. To let it detonate and pop onto the Shavana for another reset. And then playing for that Misfortune so Misfortune can kill. Whew. Alright, so now we hold a lot of uh, value here. Yeah. 700 gold bounty. And so, about to be 1,000. Third item, you could either go Rapid or Infinity Edge. You could go in Rapid if they have many Bruisers or Assassins that you want to distance yourself from to deal damage. Just from far away distances. Or you could get IE just to amp up your critical strike damage, right? But yeah, we have Storm Razor and Gale Force, the ultimate combo to do wonders. What? <laughs> when it comes to damage. And your wave clear is actually all there because of your passive, so. Things are pretty chill. Malzahar is the only one that's like fed fed. And then Yasuo is the one I'm scared of scaling. Place the vision on the dragon. So that way they don't take it. The Shavana. She's going Night Harvest. Pretty sure. Of course AP Shavana. Huh? Scary. Little bit. Little bit. But I'm pretty sure QSS will handle that. Alright. We have enough for uh, BF Sword, so we want it back for that. And we don't want to overshove and then give our bounty. That would suck. Let's get that BF Sword. Olaf in the Shavana's jungle. I think Olaf wins. Ooh. Has to wait out his R, or else his, yeah, his R won't do anything. Uh, how are they going to play this out? Yeah, I think they're at a numbers disadvantage. You could probably bait it out, TBH. TBH? Doesn't have R. Actually shit on. Okay, I griefed. Okay, <laughs> okay, I griefed. And there is a there is a sapling in the bush. I griefed so hard. Ah, uh, what did I think I was? That bounty went to that bounty went to Yasuo. Oh, that's so bad. 
Oh, it was a good play going for the Malzahar. We actually just deleted him, but as you saw, we also got deleted. Really bad, really bad from our part. We bursted him in like two seconds. No, it was like one second's time. It was E, auto, auto, auto with Halo Blades for enhanced auto attack speed. And then boom, with two, uh, two autos per second. Yeah, that's it. Two autos per second speed. We, uh deleted him in like 1.5 seconds pretty insane okay olaf no offense but i'm an adc your top side you counter jungle shavana's top side right we will take your camps because you're not going to farm them anytime soon so give them to your carry because we carry i don't think he'll tilt him because he's well okay kind of blue reliant but still gotta dip out of this situation gale force also helped us with the with the burst let's look see if we can uh look for the misfortune ah misfortune's over there interesting shivana's not on the tanky side of things right okay i can't look i can't look there i have no front line ah, that's bad Go force forward. Playing front to back like usual. And popping off. Double kill indeed. The Asu is the only one holding them up. I think we could take uh, bot tower. Because no one's going to be here. Yasu is top. Malzahar is mid. Yeah. We could take bot tower back with hopefully enough for infinity edge after we clear one more wave. Um, like I said, yeah, we you're one of the fastest tower takers in the game with your EQ combo. Take that solo golden XP. And hope the Yasuo doesn't show on time. Yeah. I mean, if we walk towards lane, yes, he could chase us, I guess. But if you just walk towards the jungle, Yasuo has nothing to E on. And then there's his chase potential down the drain. He E's on you, you just R him away. Because it's like point blank range. Can't do much there. Let's get that infinity edge. Honestly, I think I have to build QSS. I, I, I have to. Uh, but Ma the thing is, Malzahar might ult Akali. Might ult Akali. And we should probably rotate mid knowing that tower's still there. But there's still a possibility Malzahar might ult us. So, oh boy, oh buddy. Oh buddy. <laughs> We're basically playing Tristana like an assassin and this is where they forfeit. There you go, I'm done. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late for you guys. You guys done diddly lost this game. Because Malzahar, I think, has to ult me. But at the same time, we have a lot of threats like Akali. I think it's just me and Akali. Yeah. Yeah, you can take that, I guess. I just want red buff. If that's up. But you know what? Forget it. I'll go r rapid fire. <laughs> rapid fire fourth item. Because I guess, why not? And then, oh, I mean, it's for vamp sap. More lifesteal. A little bit more damage, but we lose out on the HP and then the passive from Darren, which kind of sucks, but it's it's all, it's all right. Imperial mandates Malkai, such an annoying pick, unbearable. Demonic embrace with Leandri's tournament. Oh man, Malzahar, one E will probably do half your HP. Insane. But we gotta burst him before he's able to R. So in one second's time, we gotta burst him. These crits. Let's look top. Oh, never mind. I don't look mid. Wait, never mind. I lied. I don't want to look mid. I think it's warded. Let's see if we could look here. There's. Uh, we don't know if it's not warded. Oh, it's time to back away. Yep. 
We're all looking topside, huh? Insect play. Nice. And this is where you get ulted. Oh boy. Life steal from these minions. Now Tristan is a weird champ, mid range, so you actually have to be in the middle of the fights, but at the same time, you, you want to be at a safer distance than what I was over there. Yeah, we healed up. Oh wait, why did I get life steal? I'm trying to get rapid. I'm trolling. <laughs> I'm trolling. Whoopsies. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I mean, attack speed will benefit you probably more. Yeah, it probably will benefit you more. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not bad. Look, that that's not bad of a of a lineup. We sell the BF sword and we get rapid. That's good. Now we could play for second drag. Yeah. Oh, my. 80 critical strike. They are all going to get shredded. Here. To what might possibly be going down. And honestly, we could play Tristana like how we play uh, Assassins. You just wait until they use their CC and then you uh, go in, right? It's good at getting ulted. Yep, godlike. Double kill. Triple kill. Literally, an assassin type playstyle with a lot of range because of rapid. All right, yeah, they forfeit like usual, guys. If you enjoyed, found it helpful, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell, check out the Twitch, join the Discord, follow the Twitter, and I will see you next time. I'm out.